What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. <sighs> Guys, I, I know we've talked so much about single parents, in particular, single moms. And of course, you know, there's a lot of um, hoopla about single moms. They get a lot of praise. And of course, no doubt, I mean, there are certain situations where a woman gets pregnant. She's forced to raise the child. Uh, but some women get pregnant, you know, on purpose. They don't have a real uh, intention on um, having a relationship with the father. They don't want to build that unit around the child. So what happens is that, you know, um, single parenthood occurs. And in most instances, it can be very dangerous. Right. Um, not only for, for the child, but even for depending on societies. OK. Coach Greg Adams at the 21 convention did a really good breakdown about um, what's happening right now with single parents, single motherhood in particular. I want to play that clip and then we'll return. We think single motherhood has been around for a long time. It really hasn't. This is a new concept and they use marketing campaigns to get you to accept it. 1950s, 5 percent. Not a lot of children born to unwed mothers. We get to 2012, we're almost dang near half. Some communities, 70% of the children born to unwed mothers. Right now, the father absence is a crisis in America. I'm telling you this for a reason, because the guys that want to be fathers, probably half of you, will not even raise your kid from zero to 18. The systems are already in place for you to not be in that home. So what does that lead to? Kids that grow up without a father, four times as much to be raised in poverty, seven times likely to be a teenage pregnancy victim. More likely to experience child abuse. That's normally because single mother has moved in another man. Child obesity, are we seeing this today? Two times as likely to suffer from obesity. 73% of the prison inmates were raised in single parent household, primarily single mothers. So all of those things that you've heard um, are, are evident to what's going on in society now. We're not saying that uh, a single mother cannot raise successful children, but at the same time, we're talking about the disadvantages that they have. Now we're to this story. A young lady by the name of Deja Taylor, 26 years old, has a six year old son, at least at the time. The son was a student at Rich Neck Elementary School. Okay. The son grabs the gun from the house. Okay. Now I want to play this video that explains it. I'm going to come back. We start with breaking news in Newport News. The mother of the boy police say shot his teacher in January, turned herself in today. A grand jury charged 25 year old Deja Taylor with child neglect earlier this week. Police say her six year old son got a hold of her handgun and took it to Rich Neck Elementary School in January. That's when the boy reportedly shot his teacher, Abby Werner, in her first grade classroom. Ann Sparacco has the latest from Newport News. The mother of the six year old boy who police say shot his first grade teacher officially turned herself in at Newport News City Jail. But Deja Taylor's time behind bars did not last long as a spokeswoman with Sheriff's Office says Taylor posted a $5,000 bond just a few hours later. A grand jury charged Taylor Monday with child neglect and recklessly leaving out a loaded gun, putting her child in danger. However, Taylor's attorney stated from the beginning his client had her legally purchased 9mm handgun secured and locked away. Shortly after the shooting at Richneck Elementary School in January, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew said Taylor's son somehow got a hold of her gun from inside their home and put it in his book bag before going to school that morning. In a statement through their attorney, the boy's parents said they usually went with him to school, but said they did not the week of the shooting. We visited the address listed on Taylor's court documents to hopefully hear from Taylor herself, but no one answered the door. In addition to Taylor's charges, Newport News Commonwealth's attorney called for a separate special grand jury to investigate if school employees actions contributed to. OK. So Taylor felt that the gun was in her purse, but no, it was not. It was accessible somehow. Um, the, the, the child took the gun to school, pulled the gun out, shot the teacher. The teacher who was in fear 
filed a $40 million loss, lawsuit against the school district this year. Okay. And the six year old was saying, I got my mom's gun last night. I shot her. Something to that effect. Now she was high on marijuana. Okay. Now the, the mother has been pleading guilty. Um, she can get up to six years in prison. Felony child neglect. This lady has never been in jail before. And I'm pretty sure she didn't mean for this to happen. But unfortunately, in the nation, and I grew up in Del Paso Heights, I grew up in some other communities, I can for sure tell you, um, it is it is breed, it is a breeding ground for single moms. I can tell you that it, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, okay? Even right now, Del Paso Heights is one of the most unsafe areas still in Sacramento. Still, with all the cameras out, the property values going up, it's still insane. All over the country, it's insane. Okay, and the reality is, is that a lot of these parents um, are not providing the systems around these kids. So they come up with no systems, no home training, no support. They come in doing whatever the hell they want. Daddy not there. There's no father in the home. There's no men in the community, at least no positive role models. So they're doing whatever they're wanting to do. And the mother is getting absolved from it until now. Okay. Now, what needs to happen, in my honest opinion, is listen, your kids are juvenile, commits any crime, your ass should go to jail. I'm sorry. As the parent, I think this would be so much different. Parents would have an incentive to not create these children that just have no ability to compete. And it's dangerous. I mean, think about you're a teacher. You, you, nobody expects a six year old, okay, to grab a gun. But when your mom is, I don't want to call her an idiot, but you understand what I'm saying? Your mom is high on weed, making the gun accessible to the kid. What do you expect this child to become? Now you have a felony on your record at 26 years old. That would probably stop you from getting most decent jobs in America. And then again, a lot of these people that are raising these kids, can we just be honest, man? They're, they're, they're terrible parents. We just gonna be, a lot of these, a lot of these goddamn kids, uh, parents are, are awful. You can't tell them nothing. They do whatever they want to do. Come into school, you know, yelling, cursing. And I can tell you, if this kid would do that, He's on his way. He's on his way to doing something else of age. Trust me. He's starting off on the right foot. So, and he started off on the right foot towards prison because that's where his mama put him. Where's the daddy? She was 20 when she got pregnant. Where's the dad? And for some people, they look at the lady and say, listen, we don't even feel that she's remorseful enough. We don't even feel like she's sorry. And it's a shame. Now the school district got to pay this money because they're going to have to be, they're going to have to be sued. They're going to have to settle for something. That's taxpayers money. And again, I mean like, damn, who, who wants to put up with that? Why should somebody have to put up with that? Why can't you take care of your God damn kid? Why is it a problem? What is wrong with these ladies and these kids? I mean, can we know? Is there an issue? Why? I mean, I'd like to know. What is the real problem, guys? We we we, we gotta we gotta know these things. These things are, in, are are paramount. And now, maybe that might help with some of these ladies are single dads and their kids. Why are their kids bad as shit? Like, do you know how ruthless of a parent that you got to be for your six-year-old? We ain't talking about somebody like, okay, 15, 16, they get into a fight at school, they make a bad decision, go back and try to shoot somebody or whatever, or think about it. No, it's a six-year-old. One, two, three, four, five, six. How does he even know how to take the gun off of safety? How does he know how to take the gun off safety? How? It doesn't make sense. 
And until these parents get held accountable, we're never going to know. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.